Uh, lots done, lots learned. Getting closer. Boy. Figure pretty quick here. Gotta start having to do the motor for the transmission. Excited. Fishing with Jay. Sometimes it's a real letdown, but sometimes some really cool stuff happens. Something big is going down. This old tired motor is coming on out. We're gonna see how it goes. Just showed up to Cody Crafted. It's time to do a heart transplant. I'm really excited because this thing's seen some miles. This is a pretty darn exciting moment. I gotta hook up with one of my good friends from Texas, Cody. Russian components, American components, all made in Taiwan. He happens to be uh, a wonderful mechanic, just a world class mechanic. Working on all sorts of cool stuff. Look at this. What? I met this dude through my cousin. It's time. It's still running, but it's left me stranded a few times, and that's been a heartbreak. Let me start this thing up so I can get out of here. Well, I would love to start it up, Brooks, but uh, the gremlins have visited and obviously want us to stick around. So we'll just hang out here in this eerie cemetery at nighttime. Why don't you just start it up, Brooks? Oh yeah, this motor's had a, a relatively easy life, but every mile it's gone has been a struggle. Me too, dude. Me too. <laughs> it's time for the old swap of source. Well, we definitely got a little pressure on this. So Jay was supposed to be on the road like a week ago, and here we are at, you know, 4.45, day one. Won't have the motor out tonight, but we should be pretty much ready to pull it tomorrow morning. How many 1984 buses have you worked on this month? Uh, I believe this is my first one. Time-wise, uh, you know, we found some suspension stuff that's gonna have to be addressed here. There's one, two, three leaf springs. Um, but if you look in the back, there's four. So it's broke off right here. And so what we need to do is preferably replace the leaf springs. It's one of those like, we'll do it next time things has now become, we're gonna have to do it while we're at it. So these guys are my interns. So we have Travis and Lorla. What's going on? I've heard some crazy stories about you. Rodeo dude, Marine, huge Marine. You guys look like trouble. No. Uh, uh. Thank you both for making it in today. We're kind of in a crunch and I'll need you guys out on the bus. So dry shafts, train fluids, and getting the front grill off so that we can get the motor out as soon as possible. Okay. Okay. Cool. <laughs> what do you know about fly fishing? But honestly, Really, other than the the very, very, very basics of it, I don't know much about it. Uh, kid in the neighborhood, his uh, his stepdad got into it pretty heavy, and I was probably like, I don't know, 12 or 13 or whatever, and he kind of showed me the real basics of it. I know the flies, like there's different stuff you can use to make, uh, you know, you tie flies as kind of a hobby, but as far as actually knowing anything about it. Was it two o'clock to seven o'clock or whatever kind of arm motion and you kind of whip it and feed it out? I mean, that's about the extent of it. What do you know about building cars? <laughs> How long you got? <laughs> I started building stuff when I was like 14 freshman year of high school. I didn't know a ton, and two weeks into auto tech, really my junior year of high school, this is fine. we rolled my dead 84 Camaro inside, and I started taking it apart. And it was about this dirty. <laughs> I decided to build that motor myself. It went pretty well. By the time the school year was out, I had a running driving car. I did a big smoky sideways burnout across the parking lot. And so far it's going, Pretty smooth, just a couple things to get out of the way. Jay, this puppy's about ready to come out. But I think this is gonna be pretty close. Once we get it up, we can pull the motor mount pads off and that'll give us a little more room. You know, cross your fingers and 
see how she goes. A little mold. All right. Just, just now, just a little bit. Okay. That's just like open heart surgery for a vehicle. Look at that. Go up. Everything's going Sweet. smoothly. Uh, it's just a long list. And hopefully we've got a couple of things that we're not gonna have to wait on. This guy Cody, he, he's never been fly fishing before. We gotta get fishing. And I, I'm extremely interested in in uh, seeing how he reacts to it. Seeing, seeing, seeing if, if it connects. Nothing ever goes quite to plan. And when nothing goes to plan, uh, we get uh, time delay. All right, man, so we are headed to the engine builder. Plan is six liter out of a modern, like an Escalade or a three quarter ton. Oh, sweet. Yes, and those are like 400 horse from the factory. Picking up the new motor in Tran, and here it is. Here it is. Location in the four wheel drive. Yeah. Full bunch could be amazing. Twice the power you got now. Double, full on double. More reliability, better fuel mileage. Finding the information. Yeah. Before it got here, Trepidus. got the motor in the transfer was uh, like nice pretty much non-existent. We're not sure what, what, what all this is going to take. If that transfer case doesn't bolt up to the transmission, uh, that that could be a real issue. Getting so, a little bit stressful. We're about to get back. We'll have our new motor in training. We'll have our old motor in training. We'll be able to pull the adapter off the transfer case, and we will get it all, um, you know. All right. So the real issue is making that new stuff connect to this old stuff. This company is the, the company that did the conversion. Trying to find information has been uh, a challenge. So if we don't have to order parts, then we get rolling a little bit sooner and then we get to the fishing part, which is uh, kind of what we're waiting for. Yeah, I could use a little vacation, man. <laughs> the way the transmission that came out was hooked up had this really long adapter on it. The good news is it's 32 splines on the shaft and that one is 32 splines on the shaft. Yes. High fives. That's big, that's nah, nah, big. No, 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 no. This transfer case adapter flange right here and this adapter flange are different lengths. This guy. We're gonna phone a friend. I'm gonna call, oh. uh, there's a couple places that make transfer case adapters and such. Uh, so we'll probably pick up the phone, we'll call up to Oregon to advance adapters and uh, get some tech help from them. Shit just got real. They said they've had them on back order since first of the year. Yeah. That they, they don't have one. This has been killing me. I don't know. So the issue is there's an aftermarket solution for this, but the parts aren't available right now. They're on national back order. There's not really any other way around it. It's just not something you can get around. It's just part of playing with cars. I, mean, I feel bad for the situation, but there's only so much we can do, you know, especially when the parts aren't available. Oh boy, got bad news. We can't get the vehicle to work in four-wheel drive. We think we can get it to run in two-wheel drive for now and try to situate it down the road because we are completely out of time. Yeah. Uh, so the heat is on, it's on the street, but we have to run through the list. So, exhaust, fuel pump, wiring, plumbing, tape, springs, grill, meter hoses, fluids, fluids EFI, mount bolt, dash, dash steering, hose, super, what up hose? Coolant, heater hoses, oil, oil gas, fan, throttle linkage, tensioner bolt, Physics. initialize the EFI. It's a list. It's probably not everything, but it's got us, you know, keep us focused. So we'll pick this up on the wall and uh, we'll knock them off as, uh, as we get there. Well, morning, 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 boy. Oh, hey, good morning. How are we doing? Uh, feeling a little stressed. Rough update. We were in a spot where we thought it should be pretty easy, and uh, it a lot of little things have no, came up kind of that were unforeseen. It's kind of in a pin, but a oh, hole in the floor. I don't know, it's just a bunch of stupid little delays that are just tying things up, like not being able to find a wiring harness. Today has been a, a road bump, but we're, we're hoping to persevere. We're making a list and checking it twice. We only have a few days left and the list is long. Stressful. Uh, it puts us in a spot. Yep, looks like an engine. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm learning a lot right now. The motor is bolted down and installed. Gotta put the dash back in and 
start reassembling stuff. But uh, yeah, coming along. This is the end of week two. We're feeling pretty, pretty beat down, but it's getting closer. Oh man, things are slowly getting marked off the list. We are way behind. By way behind, I don't mean a couple days. Okay, it's a trick ass bumper time. We're behind by a couple weeks. You know, the best plane in the world never survives first contact with the enemy. Five, maybe two. Multiply by four. Travis is on the bumper back here. And that's actually looking really cool. This is going to be, uh, I think, a boon to our situation broken spring problem. What the hell kind of springs go on a rig like this? A little update. The spring situation is situated. The list is actually looking pretty good. Day 16 update. Everybody's feeling a little bit better at the shop uh, because we're getting close. After all of these uh, setbacks and setbacks, it feels good to be getting close. Check it out. Big news, children. Uh, we think it's gonna work. We think we got all the parts for uh, at least making it operate. Man, it has thrown us for a loop at every available opportunity. The one thing we thought we were gonna have problems with is rusted and crusty bolts. And that has like been the least of our worries. Like the fitment on everything has just been an absolute pain in the rear and just taken all the time in the world. Well, we're there. Well, we're there. We're there. Sweet. Last move, day 21. Uh, Don't tell anybody that. All right, what do you think? Oh, just about to take it on the first test ride. No way. Like a brand new truck. Holy smokes, guys. Yeah, man. Wolf is good. Transmission line pressure is good. Ignition timing. Island smooth. Fuel pressure is good. Ready to rock and also roll. Who's ready to go for a ride? Oh! Got a little issue. Looks like it's bleeding. The blood. the blood of the transmission. Everything's going to be great. We just had uh, one clamp here that did not get snugged up. It's going to be fine. This is fine. I've learned a lot, but at your expense, unfortunately. And our fishing time. Our fishing time.